Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fellow siblings in Christ. Hope all is well with each and every single one of you guys. Let me make sure I get this right. So, whomever is the president of the United States, or whoever is chosen and selected to rule over a group of people, that determines your level of faith. Why am I saying this? Why would I bring up this topic? Well, let me go here. There are people that are upset and angry at the results of the election. And either you're 100% for Biden and you're celebrating in the streets, or you're angry and you are just upset because Donald Trump is not the president anymore. Or at least that's how it looks right now. I'm not digging too deep into this policy because that's, what not this, but that's not what this is about. What this is about is plain and simple. Where is your faith? Really, where's your faith? Where is your faith? Do you trust that Jesus Christ is your Lord and leader? Or is every bit of your faith in the Lord hinging on whether somebody is the president of the United States or not? Now, before anybody goes hardcore off on me, let me say this. Yes, we pray for leadership. We pray for leadership, according to Romans 13. Yes, we do our due diligence according to the Lord's will. At the same time, there are many of us that have been caught up by the affairs of this life. There are many of us that are so bogged down with the affairs of this life that we've taken our eyes off the kingdom and keeping our eyes squarely on the White House. What I mean by this is, no matter who is the president, y'all, Jesus Christ is King. Jesus Christ is Lord. Do you believe that or don't you? If God be for us, who could be against us? You know? And why are we so worried about who's the president? Especially where the Antichrist is trying to set up his agenda. And basically the agenda is almost laid out completely. <sighs> My God. The devil has laid it out there for many of us to be distracted from everything, from, by everything, from politics to entertainment. Whether we're trying to figure out who's the president or whether a person's music career is more important. You're being distracted. You're being distracted. Your faith is being waned and bogged down. Many of us who say that we're Christian, many of us who say that we follow God and yet... We're willing to throw a fit or a temper tantrum or be upset and cut off friendships and cut off family members and divorce our spouses and not talk to our kids and leave our jobs simply by our political thoughts and our political biases. Plain and simple. Who do you serve? Is your faith truly in the Lord Jesus Christ? Or is your faith based on who your leadership on earth is. Let me make sure I make that perfectly clear. No matter who's the president, emperor, king, queen, empress, dictator, or whatever part of leadership it is. Are you about the kingdom of the Lord? Are you about kingdom business? Or is your eyes not where it should be? Are you having your mind heart, body, and soul, and your focus on the kingdom of the Lord or the affairs of this life, way more important. These are things that's got to be addressed because guess what, y'all? Jesus Christ is coming. I know there's some that's looking at this video. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, they said Jesus coming like that, but good man, Jesus coming. I don't believe in all that. Cool. Believe that. If you want to believe that Jesus ain't coming, that's your decision. But Jesus Christ is coming. And I would rather be prepared for the return of the Lord than be so focused on who a political leader is that I forget who Jesus Christ is. Think on these things. God bless.